Welcome to Power Electronics Education Electronic Book Tutorial 7 Isolated DC DC Converters. This tutorial is presented by Dr. Firuzare. In this example, we have a flyback converter with real switch and a real diet, and we're looking to find the conversion ratio. So basically, if you look at this circuit diagram, in this case, we have voltage drop across the switch when the switch is getting on and also we have voltage drop across this dot when this dot conducts. So in this case we can find the voltage across the inductor during the time that the switch is on when this dot conducts and in this case we can find the voltage across the primary or magnetizing inductor when the switch is off. So let's start with the case that the switch is on. So in this case we have voltage drop across the switch which has been defined as Vs and now we can find the voltage across the primary basically the primary voltage equals to input voltage minus the voltage across the switch so this is for the time that the switch is on and now we can see that this capacitor is discharged through this resistor that means the current through the capacitor equals to load current I out and because of direction is minus I out so when the switch is off here we can see that the current loop and because of this polarity here this is the direction of current and here we know that there is a diode and because the diode is not an, an ideal diode so we have voltage drop across the diode so now we can find the voltage across the secondary side according to this polarity here minus plus here we can see that V2 equals to minus VD minus V out and because of turn ratio of the transformer N1 over N2 equals to V1 over V2 so here we can find V1 in terms of this turns ratio which is basically N1 over N2 by V2 and we have V2 from this equation that means minus VD minus V out so the voltage across the primary means the voltage across the magnetizing inductor Vm so this voltage equals to N1 over N2 times of here we can put minus VD plus V out so now we can find the average voltage over one cycle in order to find the steady state equation because in a steady state the average voltage across the magnetizing inductor should be zero then we can find the conversion ratio so now we can find the average voltage across the inductor over one switching cycle so if you look at the voltage waveform when the switch is getting on the voltage across the magnetizing inductor is input voltage minus the voltage drop across the switch which is basically V in minus Vs and when the switch is getting off so the voltage across the magnetizing inductor is minus VD plus V out suppose the ripple is not significant times of turn ratio which is N1 over N2 so this is the time that the switch is on that means D times of TSW and this is D prime times of TSW. So the easiest way is to find this area and add it to this area. So that means to find that area we need to multiply D TSW times of V in minus Vs plus the second area which is basically minus D prime TSW times of VD plus V out times of turn ratio 
so this one should be equal to 0 so here we can simplify that means dv in minus dvs minus d prime times of vd times of n1 over n2 equal to d prime times of n1 over n2 times of v out so the conversion ratio is v out over v in so we can rewrite it again so v out over v in is d over d prime times of n1 over n2 minus d v s divided by d prime n1 over n2 times of v in minus vd divided by v in so now we can simplify it again so the conversion ratio is v out over v in equal to d divided by d prime times of n2 divided by n1 so this term is basically for uh, for an ideal case minus d divided by d prime times of n2 divided by n1 times of this factor which is basically vs over v in so in this case because of voltage drop we can see that the output voltage has been affected by this voltage drop minus vd divided by v in so in this example we're going to design a forward converter and the point is that the turns ratio should be maximum the condition is that the input voltage fluctuates between 100 and 140 output voltage should be kept at 10 volts and this is the limit for turns ratios so if you look at the conversion ratio v out over v in is n2 divided by n1 times of duty cycle so we can put the condition here suppose that the input voltage is minimum so in this case 10 divided by 100 equals to n2 divided by n1 times of duty cycle so here that means n1 divided by n2 equals to 10 times of duty cycle and the second point when the input voltage is maximum then 10 divided by 140 equals to n2 divided by n1 times of duty cycle in this case this turns ratio n1 over n2 equals to 14 times of duty cycle so to maximize n1 over n2 that means this duty cycle should be maximum and look at the condition that maximum duty cycle equals to 1 over 1 plus n3 divided by n1 so in order to have maximum duty cycle this turn ratio should be minimum and the minimum value is 2 according to this condition so that means the minimum turns ratio is 2 that means the maximum duty cycle is 1 over 3 or 0.33 approximately so we found the turns ratio n1 over n2 equals to 10 times of duty cycle and also because the input voltage fluctuates between 100 and 140 the second case is 14 times of duty cycle so now the question is that we found that the maximum duty cycle is 0.33 approximately 
so here we can find the turns ratio so in this case 10 times of 0.33 is 3.3 and here 14 times of 0.33 is 4.62 so the question is that which turns ratio is the answer so the case is that we need to look at the case because according to this condition we can find the turns ratio and then we can solve the system in order to find the D2 cycle so suppose that the answer is 3.3 so in this case we can find the D2 cycle so according to the conversion ratio here we know that the output voltage divided by input voltage when the input voltage is 100 equals to 1 over 3.3 times of D2 cycle so here we can see that the D2 cycle is 0.33 which satisfies the condition and when the input voltage is 140 equals to 1 divided by 3.3 three times of duty cycle here we can see that the duty cycle is 0.237 so even here we can see that this duty cycle when the input voltage fluctuates is less than 0.33 so that means that this is the maximum turns ratio for the transformer even when here we can see that one of the answers shows that this is the maximum the case is that the transformer may be saturated because based on this turns ratio the duty cycle will be more than 0.33 and in this case the current through the magnetizing inductor will be increased